All right, well, we found our friend Stacy Dales here on uh, Radio Row at the Combine. We, we miss you, Stacy. <laughs> Just like don't cover the Bears this far. Well, I, I you know, if they start winning, maybe yeah. that'll shift a little bit. But uh, yeah, I had like two or three home games last year, so I would I would like to stay home a little bit more versus being on the road so much. And you know, we'll see how the roster shifts. Is Justin Fields going to be the best quarterback in the NFC North next year? <laughs> Am I getting ahead of myself? Uh, you, I'm kidding. You're asking me. Um, well, like if he can read the defense like Eberflus talks about, right? Because I, I asked him that yesterday, and or somebody did, and, I, you know, we'll see the progression, right? I, I continue to use, I don't know about you guys, but the Jalen Hurts sort, sort of model, mm -hmm. uh, obviously, now that he's shown what he can do in year three, now he'll go into year four, but in three years, I, didn't, I, I don't know if I've ever seen a quarterback improve so drastically in terms of what he did. And, like, from everybody I talked to covering the Eagles this year, who went to the Super Bowl. I mean, it's beyond an obsession with football with him. Like, he lives in the facility. So you almost think, is Justin gonna do that, right? And you get the sense maybe that he will just because of how much he wants to win. Yeah, no doubt. Stacy, we just got done talking to some of the edge rushers over here. Mm -hmm. Anything stand out to you in terms of anything that people said or any of uh -huh. the players? Yeah. Well, obviously the Jalen Carter news is really shocking. Um, you know, given some, and I'll kind of hesitate because there's going to be a lot more. Right, like yeah. I, one question I already have is why did that come out today? Yeah, yeah. Like, an, timing. Uh, like an right. hour before he's supposed to, like, it's. That comes uh. out like the day of his um, availability here with us, which is huge. Like these guys are all, and they love these moments. The thing I learned about these players is they love this. They Maybe not the media portion as much, but they, they want this process because they've waited for their you know, football lives for this. And it starts the draft process for them. Um, Will Anderson blew me away. Amazing. Loved him. Um, Nolan Smith, mm -hmm. um, you know, we'll see how he'll be used, but just his energy blew me away. Uh, and then Tyree Wilson. I mean, the wingspan. <laughs> it was sensational, so. Uh, with polls and Eberflu so far, yeah. like what are your, I know you weren't, necessarily around the Bears a ton last season mm -hmm. compared to the last regime, but mm -hmm. it seems like it's picked up a little bit in the offseason now with all the attention on the Bears. Just what are your first impressions with what yeah, they've done? Yeah, seriously, Adam, like I'll go into every season assuming that this Bears team is going to be good, and so I'll be at the facility a lot. And I think Poles has had a very definitive approach um, since he took over as GM. GM. I think they're ecstatic about having the number one pick. You'll hear a lot of teams be like, we never want to be in this position again. But they, ha they, they have to not only, you know, pump the brakes a bit, like I think they have to move down and get more, get more, get more, get more value, right? So that they can build their roster because they have to do it with great rookie quarter uh, players. Um, they've got their quarterback. I think they believe in Justin, um, but they have to build what's already a young team. So uh, I think they move down from the first pick and acquire more value. I think honestly, this Jalen Carter news today too, makes that easier because because totally he, yeah. he was the one prospect that like I couldn't really poke holes in really until this week when you start hearing some of the character concerns and then obviously the story that came out today mm -hmm. but like even Will Anderson as good as he is is he a 4-3 DN though like I, I is mm -hmm. he I'm not sure the Bears are the perfect fit for him and so I don't know you add all that up and I think just based on what Poles was saying yesterday he sure sounds motivated to move back I agree I agree. Well, and also, if you trade out of four, trade back to four, you're not guaranteed one or the other, like was part of the calculus of trading there. My biggest question to you, because you are so great covering the NFC North, is Aaron Rodgers going to get out of our misery and get out of this, <laughs> get out of this division at the very least? I just want him to retire and go home, go do you know uh, Jeopardy. I'll support him in that. Do but fans though, like do, do you guys like fans, reporters, journalists, TV personalities? not love this drama that exists in Green Bay. It's entertaining oh, for sure. I mean, 100% like, enjoy it. Yeah, it's like <laughs> into the darkness he, he owns the bears, but yet there's this constant mystery and he's doing darkness retreats and um, <laughs> this will be his 19th season. Uh, I don't think, I just don't, don't see him being a Packer because I don't know if you guys listen to Brian Gutekunst, their GM, but Goody basically said to the, this week to the media base, Jordan Love's ready to go, 
right? Three years, came in in the COVID year, 2020. Going to be entering that fourth season. He said he's ready to start. They like him. They think he's excelled in their uh, when he's played in their system. And I don't know. So what's the dilemma going to be if Rodgers comes back from this darkness, the land of darkness, <laughs> and is like, I still want to be a Packer. Do the Packers want him is going to be the question. And I'm not sure they're certain on that. Stacey, biggest question for you, have you had your shrimp cocktail fix yet at St. No! Animals? No! What's going on? Are you going to... I, that I well, I I just need to sniff it out because I need to clear my sinuses. I've had a few allergies here, but uh, yeah, it'll come. It's Good. it's gonna come. Um, it's an intense week for me. I'm here the entirety of it. I'm on the field for all the drills uh, nice. Thursday through Sunday, and so yeah, I'll, I'll get there. Um, but you guys know you can buy that stuff at like Mariano's, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, I buy you it at can. Costco all the time. I just feel like it's not the same though. I don't know. That's just me. You gotta have it here. You're totally right though. Right? And it's the way the shrimp come out. Mm -hmm. And then if you like steak, they actually have a really damn good tuna that okay. I, I kind of like. Before. Yeah, it's, it's good. Because yeah. I like a lot of fish. So, yeah. yeah. Stacy, you're the best. Thanks for you guys. stopping by. Right, thank, thank you so much. Thanks for having me.